What can I say? That's why I always stay ready. Da, 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 da. Hey. Alright, so what is going on my family? It's your boy May coach you guys with another video on the channel. As you guys see, we're back on some more Grand Peace Online. And Electro, the Mink Fighting Style, recently got a buff to it. So we're gonna be checking it out and seeing it's now worth it because it was pretty agreeable. Um prior to this buff that Mink was it was just it was just wasn't good. The damage wasn't very good, and many I didn't really see anybody using Mink. Most people were using all the other fighting styles, um, especially Black Leg. Black Leg was definitely the number one fighting style for the wild just has such, such a good combo that's the meta has been changed up a little bit but everybody was on the on the black leg train for a while but anyway boys i'll be talking about what i think is uh we're going to take a look at electro give my honest opinions on it what i think about it and then we'll go in and talk about the other styles which cows i think you should go for and which ones i think are the best obviously this is just subjective this is just my opinion on best or which ones i think are good and everything like that that you should definitely try to fight style you think suits you everyone is used every, every all of them are usable so man just use what you want to use but i'm gonna give you you know my opinion which i think you yeah, know well, what i would be using you feel me you feel me it's up before we even get to the video i know what time is going to take them hands and rub them together like burn mm -hmm. yes sir and smack fire out the like button guys we're going crazy we're about to hit we have to we about to hit um 279,000 today we probably even maybe even hit it before it was like 50 subs off by the time i'm making this video so maybe hit it before the videos in the upload man we hit that 280k and then you know we creeping on that door to 300,000 guys we're trying to hit 300,000 subscribers we need 21 more thousand subscribers man i, I want to hit it by the end of the year man i don't know if we can hit it but i really want to hit it by the end of the year so if you're watching the video please subscribe right now so let's get into it boys so I, I threw in um 200 points into electro for so for electro i can't remember you need for for all of them but you need 95 for rise and punishment so you have to have at least 95 points and obviously the more points you spend you spin it to um, um, Electro, the more damage you get. So our M1s don't increase, but our Electro moves do increase. So if you want to have more M1 damage, you are going to have to put some more in strength as well. So I just put 50, 65, 70. This is not the build that you should be going for. This is the build so we can test the damages and everything like that. So let's go ahead and head over here. We're going to fish my island right now. Some, I think these are the strongest base NPCs in the game. So we're going to test on the strongest base NPCs, see what to talk about. So if you guys don't remember all the moves of Electro, Electro basically has has um i mean it has five moves so we have basically like a electric fist is the first move right so basically with this move we get like the permanent stun so like basically electro has a, a chance to do a, a electricity stun in the game and uh personally i think that needs a buff for me personally because the le electricity stun doesn't really add any additional stun in my opinion it's, it's just like the same stun that a m1 does like get hit does anyway i think electricity stun definitely needs a buff I personally don't think the stun. I think I think I think it's just a waste right here. So let's, let's, let me just show you guys. So for first thing, we hit him with a one combo, right? Boom, he stun. You saw you saw you saw, you saw, the, you saw the stun right there, right? Let's let's put electro on and then we hit him with it. I, I I honestly don't see a difference in the stun to be honest. I honestly don't see. Oh my god, he's beating my head in. Hold up. It may be a little bit difference there. But I personally don't see much of a difference personally, you know. So let me kill this dude before he beat he over here beat my head. I probably should have been to some other NPCs because this NPC is a little bit strong. I'm trying to test stuff. This boy was over here just beating my head and he's tanky, 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 tanky. God damn. It. I really love this sword. You guys see I'm doing 13 damage right now, and I don't have a single point into saw blade. Saw blade is just crazy. This is my hockey though. It is like 10 damage without hockey, but this mug just goes crazy. So that's the first move. Like I said, you get the permanent electro with it. Once again, I personally think the electricity stun needs a little bit of a buff. I would even take a, a buff to electric electrofist if you if you take out like the because like Meeks have a chance to stun people. If that's too busted because they have a chance to stun people, either lower the chance to be able to stun somebody or um, just completely remove it. Because I think electrofist needs this play. Because right now it's uh, it's honestly an utterly useless move in my personal opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't think it, it warrants anything. But yeah, we got that. So for the second move, we have like a electro dash. Boom. Now this move is 
it's it's okay, man. As you see, like I got 200 points. It doesn't do any damage, but what it does is it gets a pretty good stun. But the issue is you can't really combo with the stun because you go flying past them. Like if you stop when you got to them, or you like teleport to them, it would be a crazy move. But since you like just like kind of like dash, and I think it's only doing what 10 damage. You know what I'm saying? It's it's hard that you're ever going to get a combo with this. Now, what I do is, personally, you can do a little combo with it, but, eh, I don't know. Now, Electro Luna. Luna is one of the, the best moves in the, on, the, on the kit right here. So, you hit the ground, and you, like, do, like, a little stun, electricity, and that one is pretty good. Now, the hitbox is a little weird sometimes, and you just find yourself missing, like, when you feel like you hit him. But um, it does go crazy. It does some good damage. We got like you got see when you got hockey on with 200 stat points. You're doing 115 damage. That is a really good burst damage and a, a damage. It's really good. But I think the hitbox should be a little bit bigger personally because in PvP you often end up missing. It doesn't hit through blocks. So I think cast time is not too bad. Got a decent cast time. But like the thing is like I would, I feel like if you gotta get the the ragdoll. Let me see. Let me see. Can a little combo real quick. Can you smite acro me? All right, you're not gonna aggro me. You know what I'm saying? I think he kind of bugged. And then hit him with the right there. That's that's a really good combo. I'm not gonna lie. Get him with the with the womp 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 womp, and then hit him with the ragdoll combo. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That's like the best combo that you can go with, and then get that off. But you see, like the, I missed right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. It just be inconsistent when you hit it. But I mean, it does some good damage when you hit it. But like, I should be able to hit that combo off again. But that, that go crazy right there. I don't know if you get off a real player, but like sometimes you can get in. I haven't did a high level, high level electro combat. You know what I'm saying? But if you get if you get, if you get this combo off, like that's a hit, bro. I, got, I, got, I think you gotta be a little bit fast. I think if I'm a little bit faster, we gotta get the timing right. Let me see. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, can you? Hold on, can you calves while in what? It? Hold up. Can I cast while in one? This might go crazy. Let me find out. Hold on. Yo, I think I can cast wall M1 in. Okay, Electro may be kind of nasty if I can cast wall M1 in. That's that's pretty good. But like I don't, I don't have no fist combo, but I'm saying like you can get that off. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty nasty, right? That's pretty nasty. Alright. Like I said, this Luna is the best move in my personal opinion. Like, the only thing is you have to get the other moves. Like, if I if I can just stop at Luna and do like some good damage, it'll be nice, but you have to might as well get all the other moves. Now, like I said, Luna's good. It just sometimes you be missing, but now I see that you can combo. Like you do it like in the middle of M1 combo. That's actually pretty good. Not gonna lie to you. Now, Electro Electro Rain is I, I I despise this move just because it's so hard to hit. So basically, like jump in the air and you do like this move, and it doesn't really do that good of a damage, but it can hit multiple times. But the problem is you're not gonna hit a target multiple times unless you got like wall camp and find an NPC. But like it, it, it's just like towards like in front of you instead of like straight down. So any person like right on you, you're never going. It's, it's literally impossible for you to hit him. Like I'm gonna try to get this NPC right on me and try to do it. Like he's it's literally not gonna hit. Him. Like watch this. I, I, I can't shoot down. I'm just gonna miss him. That move, I feel like it needs to be get a little bit of rework. It could be solid. You know what I'm saying? I wish it just shot forward. Like if you just like literally just like electrocuted for it, that would be crazy. Like why do I have to jump in the air? Please. Like I don't want to jump in the air. I feel like if electric rain. You just shot like like electricity forward out your hand like on some freaking on some freaking um the the Sith Lord that would go crazy that would, that would go crazy that would electro just shoot it forward for you if you want to act they just shoot it forward that would actually go crazy because like hitting it for it like it's just you can sometimes hit out a combo but it's easily blockable so in PvP you're you you're, you're just more times than now somebody see you jump in the air do some crazy stuff that gonna block you know what I'm saying it has a decent cast time too it's not like you're gonna get off like extremely fast. So yeah, that's that. Now the final move, I'm not gonna lie. The rising punishment goes I go crazy. Rising punishment goes crazy. Rising punishment definitely is, is a banger. You know what I'm saying? Bop, 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 bop. And then you just like bah! just like slam the ground and make people go flying. I appreciate take fall damage as well. That that joint go crazy. Got some I don't think that it got much of a buff in damage, but it hit for 65. I mean, that's in for 95 with 200 points. I feel like it hit a little. I think that should hit a little bit harder, personally. You know what I'm saying? Because Luna, Luna is hitting. Luna's hitting 92. Luna's hitting 92. Um, and a Rising Punishment hitting um 95, but it's an ultimate. I think it should get a little bit of buff in that department. You know what I'm saying? It should be. But it does, like I said, it does do some. You do. You get like knockback and hit multi-target. It's pretty good. I'm gonna lie. So that's maybe why 
it doesn't uh, do as much damage. But you like Sam, and then they're going to take fall damage as well. 119 go, oh my, like I said, it do smack. It definitely does smack, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you were able to get, like, a, a basically, like, this right here. Let me, let me check the full combo off. Like, it could actually go kind of crazy with it. But, like, it's just going to be hard to get on PvP. Hold on, bro. Let me... You can actually, you can actually potentially go crazy with this combo. I, I think I'm pretty sure Rajin Punishment is a block break as well. So basically, if you like bop, 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 hit this off and then slam down. That's a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. That's a lot of freaking damage. That's a lot of, lot of, lot of damage to get the Luna and one combo. I actually, the chest is out in PvP. I ain't gonna lie, man. Cause I've seen that I can do this in, in mid combo. I actually just like open my eyes to something new. Cause if I can get it in one off, so basically what I can do is I can pull out the sword, right? Get a sword slash and then and then oh my you can you could potentially man I'll have to like practice to get my my hand right you know what I'm saying to get my hand speed right but if you run around the sword if you get an M1 with the sword you're potentially gonna do a, a ton of damage over 200 damage with hockey on you know what I'm saying you get this ball boom bop 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 and Luna uh, I didn't get it off but you could like I said you could potentially do a ton of ton of damage I, I ain't gonna lie this thing. Has some crazy damage. I think it just has two utterly useless moves. I think Electro Dash, Electro Dash was a TP actually to the person, or stop when you hit a target or something, or something like that. Get a little bit of rework to dash, a little bit of rework to dash, and make. And if Electro Rain can, so like Mouse Aim, like you can like shoot it down. I think this would be a really really OP uh, fighting style. But those two, those two things lack in my opinion, and you have to put a lot of points into it for it to, to do damage. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a lot of points into it, you're not going to be doing as much damage. I'm going to go all the way over here. Like, if you only put 90, it, it, it just it scales really well. That's what's about Electro. Electro scales really well. So if I only had, like, 95 points into it, into, let's, let's actually change our stat points. So let's just put 95 points into it real quick. All right. So now we have we have the bare minimum that you need to use these moves. So the, the, the damage is going to drop down pretty significantly you know what i'm saying but obviously i got i got 100 points less into it so you would obviously assume that the damage is gonna drop but like it drops down pretty hardcore so we got 95 remember we was we were hitting what night was 92 went without hockey and uh with um a electric um a luna with luna luna was pretty nice it was hitting for 95 so basically let's hit him right here see boom with 95 we're hitting for 57 that's decent damage you know what I'm saying? that's nice that's a nice little hit that's not gonna lie that's a nice little hit but it ain't, it ain't the 95 that we're hitting so you, but like I said, that's nice though. I ain't gonna lie, 95 is nice. So you do like a bop, 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 hit with the. How do, I, how, how do sometimes I get the Luna mid combo? Maybe it was just like an accident. Maybe we just got lucky. Let's see what we doing with the hot. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, bop, 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 bop. 106. That's that's still some good damage with the M1s. That's still potentially some good damage. I'm not gonna lie, that Electro Electro is 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 solid. It's it's solid in my opinion. Um. Damage wise, it has one of the best damages. I just feel like PvP wise, I don't know. I'd have to test it a little bit more. I just feel like this is easy counterable, easy blockable. Oh, you also need hockey for all the moves. That's another thing I didn't like about Electro because you need hockey for every single move, even though you're shooting out electricity. You know what I'm saying? I don't get why you need electricity. If I'm shooting out electricity, why I need hockey to hit somebody? Because, um,. There's other hockey. There's other moves, um, four styles. I don't. I'm pretty sure is Roku gonna need hockey. I don't know Roku gonna need hockey, but I don't think I don't feel like electricity should need it unless you're bunching. Like obviously for like for electro fish, you should need hockey. But but I'm shooting out electricity with my hands. That's this to be that's electricity. My like that should hit. Like that's what I'm talking about. That hit, I think that hitbox needs to be a little bit bigger. If that hitbox when I can, if you can consistently get that combo off, bro. This. That combo off, you know what I'm saying? That would be that would be that would be godly. I ain't gonna lie. It would be it would be it would be top tier in my opinion if you get that. But anyway, that's that. So where do I rank um um the new electro rework? I honestly think it's it's pretty good. Honestly, I think it's really good, but personally, I'm still putting it as as probably as my bottom, my bottom, my bottom, um my bottom fighting style. And that's that's pretty crazy, right? You see how good the damage is. That's I'm still probably putting it at my bottom fighting style. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, go back here, Roku Gun, because I want to get Electro. I think Electro Electro got some potential. It got some potential. I think, especially if we get Sulong in the future, I think Electro is going to be really nice. I honestly think I think it's nice. I think that's really usable. You gotta see the damage you can output with it. But I just feel like the other fighting styles offer better utility as well as still some good damage as well. 
So I'm still I'm, I'm ranking it so far. I'm gonna rank it number four. Um, number four is still gonna go to um Electro. Electro is really good. You guys see it's usable. That's why I say everything in this game is usable right now. You can use it. It can be good. You can get some nasty combos with it. But for me, it's still going at my bottom fighting style. Now, uh, what I'm gonna be going for, for my number three. My number three is probably gonna be what I'm going for right now. I love the utility behind it, but I think the other two just combo a little bit better. It's more so like for PvP. And for my next one, we're gonna go Roku Shiki. Roku Shiki is just is so good in my opinion. Even though it's coming to my number three, the utility you get behind it, you get Soru when you get it, and Soru is one of the best utility moves in the game. You also get Gepo. You get Soru and Gepo only for 20 points. That's so good for PvP. Soro is basically flashed up from Bleach. You literally get the flashed up around from Bleach, and it actually goes pretty crazy. You guys see in my PvP clips, you guys see me like flashed up and around and like going going invisible and like moving really fast. That Soro is really good. You also get Gepo, and you also get Shigan, which I'm pretty sure is a block break. I use Shigan a lot. Uh, I don't say a lot, but I usually do use it from combos. It's actually really good. Now for my um, number two, number two, like I said, these are debatable. Everybody go different with them. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with with Blackleg to be honest, man. Blackleg, Blackleg got a nerf. Blackleg was number one easily at first, but it recently got a nerf, and the nerf definitely knocked it down a couple of tiers. Uh, especially when everybody's running around Kiribachi. Everybody got Kiribachi right now. Blackleg is definitely taking the hit because Blackleg doesn't have the range. But Blackleg combo game is still really good. Its damage still scales really well. And it still doesn't have um, um, freaking um, Diabe Jambe. Diabe Jambe, when it gets Diabe Jambe, it's going to be actually the same. We still haven't reached the full ceiling cap of uh, Blacklight, and that's why I know Blacklight is going to be dangerous. And it, you get Gepo as well with it. Gepo is such a good thing that you negate all fall damage. There's a lot of moves that knock you in the air, but Blacklight is able to negate that. So definitely utility behind it, the damage, the combo potential. It's just, it's just really good. Um, Roku and Blacklight, I guess, can go back and forth. Honestly, personally, they really go crazy. Uh, I think a lot of people debate that. Uh, obviously, people, everybody lives will probably be different. And then coming at my number one fight, where is I've lost this island again? Oh my god, I lost this island, bro. I hate looking for islands, bro. I'm lost in the middle of the sea. And then coming at my number one, that is coming at um, one sword style. I think one sword style is the most versatile fighting style. You do lose the movement and everything like that. But right now, one sword style only has only one only reason people are using Kiribashi because it has more range and does more base damage because it's a rare weapon. But if you come over here, katana, katana is an uncommon. Eventually, there's going to be a katana that does more damage than Kiribachi, right? And he's going to be able to use the one style sword. The one style sword itself just does pretty crit. Like Shishi Song Song, it does over 100 damage. The the ultimate, which is like a, the, the dragon out, burn stuff, does burn damage. Overall, it just it's just really good, man. It's just, it's just really, really good. Really, really combo. Really heavy combo. Why can't I find this freaking island, my guy? Uh oh my gosh I'm lost I'm lost in the sea under the sea your boy is lost in the water he can't find nothing he's in the sea god damn but yeah those are that's what I'm ranking to be honest like I said this is very interchangeable I think all fight styles in this game are pretty good I would still love to see a little rework to Electro I think if Electro gets a little bit of a rework if we get if Dash gets it, it, it don't have to be both if Dash or Rain gets changed. If, da if dash becomes a, like a, you literally dash to the player and like you can stop and combo, Electro would be the broken most would be the strongest one in my personal opinion. Electro would be super strong. Um, even if Luna gets a better hitbox, if Luna gets a bigger hitbox, that would be crazy too. But I feel like if I really want Luna to get a, a little bit bigger for hitbox or more consistent hitbox, um, that's like number one. But then if dash or rain gets a little bit of a buff or a rework or just a little bit of a change up to make it better. Man, Electro would be pretty crazy. Anyway, boys, I'm looking for this Roku Shiki Island. You know what I'm saying? Your boy is lost right now. Oh, my God. I don't even know where I'm at no more, man. Right, man, get, guys, get you some log pulls, Mike. I'm going to go back to Arlong Island. Wait, Arlong is that way? How do I get... How did... Oh, my God. How did I get going... Oh, my God. I don't even know what I did, boy. But anyway, that's about it for me. Hope you guys end up enjoying this video. 
Um, once again, we play the game. Use the fighting style that you think best with you. You know what I'm saying? I think for you has. I'm probably gonna use some of these clips. He has fight. He has showcase of all the fighting styles. All the fighting styles are usable. Use what you think is best. We still haven't even got um, Fishman. I think Fishman Karate is gonna go actually crazy. Um, but yeah, all of them are pretty usable. I've seen combos with all of them. You can make your own combos and go crazy. Just use what you think is work best for you. Fix your fighting. Fix your play style. Fix your fighting style. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. How you got? Everybody got their own style of fighting. So find what works for you. Um, and you, you can definitely make everything work. But anyway, boys, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to catch you boys later. Today's be Boy B Main. I'm signing out. Peace.